Hey there, this is Chris Love of the Information Lab. And I want to continue my Goods Great series showing you how to create this combination chart which shows a scatter plot and it shows some smaller points in the background which show an overall picture. In this case, it's runs for a set of cricket players showing the number of balls they faced on the up axis versus the average number of runs they scored on the uh, horizontal axis. Now against this detailed level, I've also got a set of averages which show the overall picture for that player. And these are showed as slightly transparent circles. What I want you to do is have a go at creating this yourself. Come back and then I'll show you how to create it. If you haven't got the data set, which you won't have, then try with Superstore Sales. Try something like uh, Average Profit versus Average Sales using subcategory as the, as the detail. Show the order ID as every order for the detail level and show subcategory as the, as the averages. Once you've done that, I'll show you how to create it. It's actually quite an easy chart to create. Just one or two tricks that uh, you just need to be aware of. So let's start by creating the overall scatter plot. I'm going to drag balls faced onto here. Let's change that to an average. I'll do the same with runs. Let's do this a different way. Let's hold down the right mouse button and drag that onto columns and then choose average from our measures. Just a slightly different way of doing what I just did, but a little bit quicker. We've got one point on here. That's showing the average runs versus balls faced for everybody. Now I want this per date, so I'm going to, again, right click and drag my data and show this as a set of discrete dates, which is gonna show me every date along with the average balls face and average runs. Let's pick up the player attribute and put that on color. Now it will be broken down by each player. Let's get rid of this indicator. So these are my underlying smaller marks. Let's change the shape of these so they're crosses. Now I want to add my averages for each player, ignoring the date. Now I don't need to go into level of detail here. You might think that I do because I'm changing the level of detail of the view. Instead, we just create a dual axis chart by copying the average run. So I'm holding down control and dragging this, which is going to duplicate it. And I'm going to choose dual axis and synchronize the axis. We might as well hide this as well. So remove the header. Now on my second measure down here, my average runs two, which is the duplicate, I can now just remove the date field. Let's change this to circles and change the size. And let's lower the transparency. And there we go. A really quick way of creating that chart. We haven't had to dive into level of detail. The only thing we need to be aware of is that we can have different levels of detail on both these measures. And that's really key to creating the chart and, and creating a number of charts. Have a play. Drop me any comments. Really all I want to share with you today. Thank you very much.